right, we left off last time. Um, I showed you guys I got the trunk floor all cut out, so uh, we're gonna be moving on to the back end. So I'll show you where I'm at. I showed you the brace I welded in. So I got the plasma cutter out. And uh, as you can see, I think we can see it right here, the seam, I'm gonna cut inside of that and go through the inner structure and this outer valance on both sides. So that way this is just eliminated. And then I can in turn get some of this left, you know, what's left of this corner out and be able to uh, put all the new outer stuff in and repair some of this stuff as well. So. Uh, let's get this thing cut out so we can uh, assess what we got left on the corners. Okay, we got that all cut out. So now, uh, as you can see, the, the trunk piece has where the trunk uh, bracket actually mounts to. So off of the piece I cut out, I gotta salvage this piece and I've gotta cut this little deal out as well because the new pieces don't come with that. So we're gonna save that until I can get to that. And then for now, I got to get up into here, get this out, and start getting my flanges off. All right, came to a little stopping point here, uh, show you guys where I'm at. And um, on this side over here, which would be the passenger side of the car, I got the uh, trunk flange all separated. Um, used to look like this here. So that, as you can see, you can see the two separate flanges there, the inner quarter and then the old trunk. So that's what I got cut and ground off over here. So it's all down to the actual inner wheel well now. So that lip is completely gone, ready for the new trunk to be welded. But as you can tell, we got a little bit of crust through here. So I'm gonna start right in this area, come up and go over and down and just replace that little strip, um, weld it in, smooth it out. And this side will be ready for the trunk minus cleaning up this corner right here a little bit. And then we'll move on to this side, do the exact same thing. So we got a little rot right here as well as up into here. And I'll do a little bit more detailed video on how I make this piece here since it's kind of contoured and such. And uh, then we'll be ready to clean up the corners and get the trunk fit and spot weld it in and then start working on this back uh, tail panel here. All right, got this side all finished up and cleaned up. And here's the rust I was showing you guys. So. Got the flange cut out here, and as well as this piece here, and then lo and behold, we got more rust. So this uh, rear fender well support here, this flange, as you can see, is rotted off. It probably, as you can tell, did one of these and met up up here. So I'm gonna come back on this inside edge, see if you can see my finger, and uh, cut down this flange. I'm gonna remake this flange, weld it in, and then once that's done, I can make this outer piece and then make my flange piece. Okay, left off yesterday, I had cut out that uh, inner brace. So I went ahead and got that made. So that's in and done. So now I'm working on these outer pieces. Um, set that there. I made up a little flange, if I can remember where I uh, put it. Here it is. So this guy here will run from there go up to there. That'll be the uh, flange the trunk welds to. And then I will make this piece separately. Some guys would make it as one, just a little too difficult for me. Everyone does it different. And then that way, once I weld this flange in, I can weld across and recreate this radius seam right here. I'll weld that and then you smooth it out and it'll look like a seamless transition. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and get this thing made out of some probably probably 18 or 20 gauge, which is what this is. I'm gonna double check, but I think it's 18. And uh, get this made. And after this is made and welded in, I will be ready to make that last kind of goofy looking piece there on that inner wheel well structure. And I'll kind of show you how I go about forming that. 
All right, so back in the little sheet metal machine area. I don't think I've ever had myself using the stomp shear on here. So got my pattern traced out onto this uh, piece of scrap steel we had laying around. So I'm gonna use this stomp shear and cut this uh, thing out. And then the stuff I can't get to with this, we'll get the cutting wheel out and use it And then this uh, inside radius here, I'll just uh, get the cutting wheel in and cut that section out and we'll have our piece. And I would use a bandsaw, but our one with the metal, uh, metal blade is broke right now. So go ahead and get that cut out, we'll be done. Okay, so I just got my flange welded in, so I'll show you guys that in a minute, but Kind of got an exciting package, literally just got dropped off like two seconds ago. We got the uh, gasser arches for the quarters, so let's unbox these things and just kind of take a look at what they look like. Pretty cool. So we'll get an idea what this uh, looks like on the side of the car here. So probably a little something like that right there. So once we get this uh, trim off and stuff like that, we'll get to that after we uh, repair some other sections. So these will be a nice nice weld-in deal make it really nice to get that arch without having to cut it it's already got the nice radius flange on it so pretty cool okay i left off showing you guys i was fixing this area so it's all patched in and done the flange and that piece up in there and got that side done as well while i was finishing that up he finished this up so that flange is ready and as you can see the inner surface here i got all cleaned up as well as i got all my holes punched where we'll be doing plug welds or factory spot welds so we're going to go ahead and start getting some stuff cleaned up and get that trunk floor in of getting it up in here and grinding it so and the reason we're leaving these is we haven't got the replacement panels in the uh we haven't got those here yet so we wanted to leave these in place so we know where everything's going to be but we got it in and it's pretty much fully in place i'm going to come back in tomorrow morning and make some final tweaks and uh, we'll be ready to weld it in so um, we'll probably finish off the video tomorrow morning when I get this thing all welded in and finished up and that'll probably do it up for this one. All right, so we're back on the trunk floor. Uh, first thing this morning, uh, I think I mentioned having to readjust this back driver's cor uh, corner. And sure enough, uh, this wire loom, this wire loom clip right here was kind of getting jammed. It was laying over and getting jammed underneath this uh, rolled lip of the inner uh, fender well. So 
I kind of pulled it back and got up underneath, pushed it all up, and came right up into position. So this thing fit great with you know little like literally no modifications whatsoever. So now that I got it all clamped where I want it, we will go ahead and start getting it welded. As you saw on the time lapse there, we got it all welded in from the bottom. So now where that floor, the front flange meets, or I should say the trunk, where the trunk floor meets the floor pan itself, I need to go in and spot weld. So we're gonna jump inside the car and start spot welding those things in. Okay, uh, left off, I think, uh, you know, we showed you I got the floor or the trunk floor all welded in. So give you a little rundown on what I finished up because I um, did a couple other things I didn't end up filming, but I had talked about in some previous clips. So here it is all in. So got my support bar all taken out. Just need to smooth the tack welds out that were there. Um, I had mentioned getting this um, trunk latch off of the other rear piece, so I got it off, cleaned the original bolts up real nice, painted it, got it on, and then this piece here, which is actually that little piece goes in it like that, this will weld to the new tail panel, which is right there. So I got that off, cleaned up and ready, so leaving that there, that's the arch for the driver's side. So. I'm not starting on any of this yet because we don't have our corner pieces. They actually make these sections right here. So we're gonna wait till those get in, then we can finish this up and then do the new tail panel. So right now I'm gonna be starting on this quarter on the passenger side, cause it's the worst. So got all my stuff organized and laid out and got everything cleaned up. So we gonna be combining these two to make one, but this will be the, uh, in another video. Um, we're going to go ahead and end this one off right here. So got the trunk all done. And like I said, that's going to start out the another video. So we're going to end this one there and give us a like and subscribe and uh, keep liking the videos as well and sharing them.